Got it here, cool snow toys. Is it enough snow? Oh yeah, it is. Check this out. This is hilarious. It's a little ducky. Wow. So you know what? We need to pack it up a little better. So just grab it, grab it, grab it. And that's gonna be quite a bit better. Because it's packed better. Let's see. Oh wow, that's cute. Check this out. That is nice. Let's see if I can make it better by packing it even more. Check this out, that's a little ducky. That's hilarious snowball over here, that's for sure. That's a cool toys. Then there's a soccer ball. Again, might have to pack it a little bit. Check this out, this is funny. This is legit. Okay, pack it really well. Open it. No way. Such a dry snow, it works really well anyways. So just grab, scoop it up, pack. Oh, gotta do more snow. It is a really dry snow, it works really well anyways. Check this out, this is so fun. And then one more, we have a snowman. Let's see how it turns out, you see? Snowman. Oh. Boom, that's hilarious, check this out. Little snowman. Wow, it actually stays pretty steady. Perfect snowball, snowball, soccer ball, snow soccer ball. Remember I showed you this folding racket stove that is a small one? Guess what, they actually make a bigger one as well. It's really easy to set it up. Just go like that. Then the legs out here. A little bit flimsy seems to be, but it's legit. Boom. They also make much bigger ones. Let's see what it's about. Well, already you can see the size difference is much, much bigger. Locks in a, in a really good. Then we go flip this and lock it. We go and spin it and then tighten it. The legs are huge too. Wow, I kind of like this one way better. Oh my gosh, that's huge. Got back up the camera. There you go. We close the side here. And then we have one of these that gonna go on to boom. Check this out, look at this difference. So this is much bigger, you can add much more sticks into here as you can see easier. Uh, this one is quite smaller. So as you can see this one by far is bigger. You can fit in in this compartment so much more sticks and coals so it's going to be burning really well. We'll put it to the test in the near future, both of them, the burn test. Uh, for now, it's just uh, kind of like unboxing and first impression. And you know what? It is worth getting a much bigger one. Look how much bigger it is. Folds like that. I love the way it folds, it's so many folds, but it's kind of worth it because it becomes really small. And there's a size difference, it's not even comparable. It's so much bigger, look at it. Got it here, super cute gas can. This is probably one of the smallest gas can, at least the metal one. This is a safety can, just in can. So, the way to fill it up, you just Grab it right here and pull it. Push it and pull it. In my opinion, it's probably for the chainsaw so you don't bring in with you a giant, like a whole gallon of gas. It's very heavy, liquid is heavy. So yeah, you got bring like how many gallons is this? Or like point gallons. Okay, this is one quart, 0 0.9 liters. 
that's what it is wow that's so cute and i love that design so you can just pull it boom and it closes it has kind of a, like a cork like lid over here so it's not go viper it and it's really tight so super cute gaskin thought i'd show it to you a lot of people probably don't even know about it they make really big ones uh, this is just a copy in a small size for the chains or whatnot beautiful just in case vintage multi-tool this thing is hilarious so i bought it on ebay it's uh feels super cheap there is some really good uh vintage uh, tools uh, i don't think this is one of them but i figured i'll show it to you all oh my goodness look at that hammer what do you be hammering it that's just cute I mean, at least it's cute. What else you have? Wow, look at that orange. Are, are they even serious? Is it supposed to be a keychain? Or is it actually supposed to be use, usable? Super flimsy. This is so funny. And look, it actually comes with screws. Then uh, there's a screwdriver. Oh my gosh, look at this set of wrenches. They look like the same size, so what's the point? of having three different kinds kind of funky again i have seen very very high quality ones that is vintage this is some kind of mimic of high quality stuff so yeah if you're wondering should you buy one of those just in case mini tool kits i don't think so even this whole case made out of pretty much plastic bag Got it here, rope tied down gadget for the top. Had this thing for a while now. So how does this work? So this is how it works. There's a spinning wheel and then you let it go and it uh, locks it. With this hook right here, you put it over like a tree or in this case a pipe. And then we're gonna tighten it up. This is power cord 550, so like 550 pounds. Then we're going to, what we do is just tighten it up by just pulling it this way down and it will spin and tighten it up. If you need to untighten it, you just grab it and let it go like this. But imagine this right here over the top and then we're just going to pull it this way and it's going to tighten it up. And whenever we try to pull it off with all my weight, it's not coming off, especially if it's just for the top. This gadget is amazing for camping to set up a top without any nuts. There you go. This thing is amazing. It actually holds it really tight together. You see? It goes forward this way, but not coming off this way at all. So yeah, it will tighten it really, really good. Got it here, SOG belt buckle one of them is way bigger than the other one so i don't know i guess we'll put it to the test the smaller one seems to be way better first rating packaging boom so there you go check this out how cute is that first of all looks like it pops out how does it pop out wow check it out this is a kind of like a money clip over here go over your belt and this right here like a hook for your belt so you press it and release it. This is what holding it up into the belt right here. You see it? And then you just flip it over and you got right here pliers or wire cutters. What else is in here? Couple of tools, some kind of screwdriver pick and a file. A ruler, I'll never use a ruler. Little knife box cutter openers. That's it. That's it with this thing right here. It's just so unique. Money clip, whatever. Interesting. Okay, put it away. Lock it in. Got it here, micro quad LED lantern. That's something unique. In the last video I showed you that lantern that it takes apart. Uh, smaller flashlights, but it's really big. Well, guess what? This side here is miniature. First of all, I think this will come off. What 
what is this? Please remove this. Yes, look at this Leo batteries. I love this right now so much. It's telling me plus and minus. What is this though? Wow. So this is some, some kind of like covers for your flashlight. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. So you can have different colors. Let's take them out for fun. That is something very unique. I never seen it before in a lento flashlight be like that. Okay, let's take it apart. Okay, there's a little plastic that we'll have to pull out. So, because it's blocking, how do you turn it on? Might have to adjust it or charge it up, whatever. So, it's gonna go this way. And there's magnets. Unfortunately, all the batteries are dead. Probably including this ones, unless I put it the wrong way. Let me put a different battery in. Uh, sometimes what happens when the product is uh, five years old, the batteries will go bad. Oh wow, yep, the batteries just went out. There you go. So whenever you pull this out, it's supposed to work. I just need to replace all of these batteries as well inside here, because it's just too dead. The product has just been in the packaging too long and batteries went bad happens but makes sense right it's gonna be just as bright whenever you take it out and guess what there's a little clip on it so you can put it onto your pocket very unique just need to buy more batteries and something is also unique you can put this dimmable things on it so I don't know why would you want to do it I guess the red is kind of cool uh, but yeah it just makes it much dimmable and then there's orange, so we'll just need to get a bunch of different lights, but makes sense. You take it out, use these flashlights, or if you don't want to kill the batteries, you take it out and only run one or two, so that way you're only one side. So yeah, very unique, removable, individual flashlight, Lenta Mini. Beautiful.